on Sailing Catalpa. We celebrate my birthday and hang out in Darwin. So we're just heading in on Fanny Bay to tie up to the Corin... Careening poles. Careening poles. We've got Bella in the tender. Um, I'm just, we're not sure what's going to happen over here, so Bella can help manoeuvre the boat. Because we're going to back in, so because we're going to leave tonight at about 9 o'clock. So I want to hopefully drop the anchor back in, so I can sort of use the anchor to pull me out to at 9 o'clock tonight. Um, all going well, we get on and we can get in. Um, We've We're never done point, this before. 5.8 metre tide, and we sort of needed uh, 6 metres, but we'll just see how we go. If it's a bit shallow, we'll just come back out and try again tomorrow. I've never done this before, so I'm hoping just to secure as best we can to the pole. So it was uh, $50 with the sailing club to dry out, as opposed to $600 pulling the boat out to put just a transducer on. So. It should only be an hour job. All goes well. It should be an easy day. Let's hope so. And we've got Taj up the front. Eddie's going to be on fender. So anything that's going to bang into the poles, hopefully Taj gets there before with the fender. Scary accident. What am I supposed to do again? Uh, Sarah can't be told, she's just got to be guided, so we'll, we'll go through it with you when you get the <laughs> He tries and, and explains panic. things before we do it, and I said, well, I'm just going to forget that, so you might as well save your breath till we're doing it. I like to have the whole thing played out in my mind how it's going to unroll. Sarah likes to let things unroll. <laughs> We're different, you and me. I call that panic, but anyway. <laughs> together. Yin and yang. <laughs> Mars, Venus, that sort of thing, you know? Yeah. Well, we'll try and keep the camera rolling as much as possible. to the fender position, please. Be ready when I come to the front. Here in the poles. You come to the back as I drop the anchor. Roger that. There they are. All right. I think I'm very much needed. I'm gonna put the camera down. Taj is ready with the fender.
my back over a bit, Mel. Push the back. Over here. Keep going. That's okay, you're doing well. Just turn around and go again. Tide's dropping pretty quickly, uh, but we're starting to lean over and uh, Lee thinks we're not close enough to the poles, so he's a bit worried that we're going to be too much on our side. So we're in a bit of a, a bit of a panic. He's trying to tie so that it's not going to lean over. We don't want to wreck any of our rigging, and we don't want to wreck things. We're kind of regretting this pole decision. We should have just uh, maybe got. You have to lift it out instead. But when you're sailing on a budget, you choose the cheaper option. This was 50 bucks. Getting pulled out was 600. Fingers crossed that as the tide drops, we don't slip too much and go onto our side. Please tie it off um, as much as we can. But he doesn't have a good feeling about it, which makes me feel a bit sick. So. Well, he's just gone ashore to get another piece of timber and hopefully block in between uh, their pole just to stop it leaning over any more than what it is. The tide's dropping. This help is leaning over. Hopefully we don't slip any further. Hey babe. Didn't go to plan. Run the poles, not ideal. Got a bit of a lean. Had a little bit of waves this morning, so we're trying to fend away from it which probably didn't help we had fenders and then obviously once we hit the bottom it leaned over um, hindsight we should have just kept as tight as we could it's just that we had so much motion we didn't want to bang the boat around too much not a bit of a lean I don't like it but it is what it is and um, yeah can't wait till high tide get this transducer in and uh, get out here yeah. So when we bought the boat, 
um, the transducer was inside the hull. So this is a obviously ferro cement hull. It's like two inches thick, so it doesn't shoot through. It, it, it's it's just hit and miss. It's really in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I've just cut a block. I've got about a 25 degree dead rise to where I want to put it. So I've got all of the high tide and the low tide to uh, get this drilled, siliconed up, anti-fair back in the water. We don't have a chance, a choice, sorry. We are back in the water nine o'clock tonight with high tide, so this has to be on. So this is obviously going to sit way further down underneath the hull and the new transducer will be there. It's just, we had a lot of issues coming up um, the east coast of Australia where we're inside um, a lot of reefs that weren't surveyed and it kept cutting in and out, in and out. So, but before we get to Indonesia where there's a lot of areas that are unsurveyed and can be within a nautical mile out, we have a transducer that's um, working. <sighs> All right. Back to it. Back to it. So we've got Catalpa on the sand. We're at Fanny Bay in Darwin. We were planning on her being straight, just sitting on the keel, but um, she is a little bit leaned over. We're just worried about one little bit of rigging that it's leaning on. Other than that, I think she's pretty solid into the ground, so we shouldn't have to worry about it moving too much more. Hopefully. And um, yeah, we just, Lee's put blocks and things because we weren't close enough to the poles. There's one bit of rigging that it's leaning on and we're just a bit worried about that. Um, it should be fine, we should be off. By tonight we'll be off the poles anyway, so that's okay. See how we go. We've got a lot of things to do before the tide comes in, literally. Catalpa's high and dry. So we've got big tides up here, I think they're six metres. So the tide's got a fair way to go before it's low tide and then starts coming back in. So we've got a good few hours to do what we need to do. Tide's still going out, we've got plenty of time. Lee's back in his favourite position, in the engine bay. So we just siliconed. Silicon, what did you use? Sikaflex. Sikaflex. Sikaflex, the transducer in. So we filled in the hole. So uh, there it is. All of this effort for this thing. Oh, I hate this stuff. It's so messy. So Lee's just um, sick of flexing, tidying it up as best he can around the trans transducer. Alright. So we've installed it, we haven't got any anti-foul yet, so I don't know what's going to happen there. Um, put a little cover plate in here, it would be nice to anti-foul that, but if not, um, we'll do it next time we slip it, but at least we've got a depth sounder now. Drill <sighs> two holes, I've used a sealer in the crate, sealed that, then we used the uh, sicker flex, tighten it up, and hopefully the tide doesn't come in for a few hours, which it looks good. About dead low now. Got about a six metre tide here, so hopefully it doesn't leak when we go back in tonight.
What? Hopefully. Can't we lanolin that? Didn't someone say lanolin? Uh, For any fowl? Yeah, potentially. So we've had a bit of trouble sourcing the same any fowl as what we've got on the boat. Um, there's a chandlery here, but they only have international any fowl, and we're not sure, we don't think that's compatible with the Jotun which we've got on there, and no one sells Jotun up here. That we can find anyway. And we only need such a tiny bit, it was. Annoying, we didn't want to have to buy a heap of antifowl when we don't need it. Uh, we might just do that actually. We might just put a little bit of lanolin. Yeah, I remember we read it somewhere or something. Yeah, Someone I know said. They do props with it, but they actually heat the props up. So the tide is pretty much low now. It'll probably start to turn. But look, check out this tide. It goes all the way up to the ramp up there on high tide. It's crazy, six metre tide. Won't be long, Kitel, if we're back in the water. Poor girl's on a bit of a lean. We've broken a bit of the tow rail and we're a bit worried about our rigging, so. Bring on that tide. You can't come in quick enough. Oh. So we did it. We did it! We got it done! It's got to get floating. The tide is coming in, the water is coming underneath the boat again, so we're a bit anxious to get floating. Get away from these damn poles. <laughs> it was good, it was a good learning experience. We would have done it better. We could have done it again. But we actually had fenders in between the poles, which didn't help us because it created a little bit of once they started to drop out. So we was on a bit of a lean. We broke a bit of the tow rail and there's a bit of pressure on our rigging but all in all it could have been a lot worse I guess. Probably on the side. Yeah Lee actually went and got some timbers and saved the day. Some blocks up and made it not lean over any further so He's a quick thinker, this captain of mine. Oh, he's a nervous captain. Oh. There you go, done. We <laughs> both sweated our asses off. <laughs> As you do in Darwin, when you're not doing anything you sweat, so when you're doing stuff, it's like... just dripping. We got it done. That's the main thing. Big job out of the way. We can go now, hey baby. That's all our jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Wait for our visas. Friday. Out to you Saturday, hey. Oh God. Oh, that's oh. pretty close up. Yawn. That was lovely. So we're watching the sun go down tonight. Tied up to the poles, anxiously waiting for the tide to come in. We've got about two hours, so it'll be about eight o'clock tonight. When it's high, and then we can come and be free. We'll go back out and anchor back out in, in Fanny Bay. Lee's just trying to think of all the things he needs to do before he loses light. Both anxious to get off this pole. Oh, I'm just anxious to be um, floating properly. Yeah, we just want to be free. We feel a little trapped. It's a beautiful sunset. There's not too much wind, so that's his hoping it all goes nice and smoothly. So there we have it. Our transducer, a little bit of silicon over the uh, cables there, but it's not leaking. So we had a tide to work with and we utilised that and there we have it. We now have a transducer. So we can go to Indo. I'm a sweaty man. <laughs> you are a sweaty man. <laughs> Someone get this man a water. Aircon? <laughs> Join us next time on Sailing Catalpa 
as we get ready to leave Australia and celebrate Mum's birthday. Thanks heaps for watching. Oh, it all comes all thanks to you all.